hi guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to do a quick video of my stockpile um just so you guys can get a look up look at what i'm doing and how i plan on stocking up um it's not fully stocked i'm still working on it um um stock stocking food is kind of expensive especially when you're eating the food um my style of stockpile will be the food that we actually eat. I don't want to buy a bunch of food that's going to like, you know, sit and then go bad. I want to buy food that we eat. So keep in mind, we're eating the food, so we're I'm working through the food. So I'm trying to stock it up at the same time. My reasoning for this is that you guys know I live in Houston and Houston is Hurricane City. So, um, with that being said, I want to, um, try to stock up some things just in case, um, even with the past year, 2020, with everything that was going on, um, I want to make sure that I never get in a situation where I'm struggling to provide. Um, for me, it's just, I'm one of those people who like to make sure that, um, I'm straight. And I used to be a single mom, so it's kind of in your heart. You're always a single mom. You always have that single mom mentality. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. You know, I like to always be prepared and make sure I have a good stock up for me and my family and make sure they're able to eat at any um, point. Um, food is the one thing you don't want to have to worry about. Um when it comes to feeding you and your family. It, it's a horrible feeling to feel when you cannot um, make a basic meal for your kids. So I know I'm rambling, but I kind of just want to give you some insight. Um, again, this pantry is not complete. I am working on it. It's not even organized the way I want it to be organized, but we're going to start here and I'm going to take y'all on this journey of prepping my pantry or well, my spare stockpile pantry. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you guys an overview of what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to start over here and work our way around. So, as y'all can see, I have oil. Again, I cook. I have not brought any extra oil, so hence why there's only two bottles. Um... We got some flour, some cane sugar, and some powdered sugar. Again, I'm going to stock up on that. Um, some tomato sauce, some, sorry, spaghetti sauces, and enchilada sauce. Again, I had this whole thing full, but we, I made spaghetti and other dishes, so use that all. And this is just a variety of pastas. We got some elbow noodles, spaghetti noodles, linguine, lasagna. More elbow. Um, yeah, I, I want more pastas, but um, again, that this is not going to be like this. I'm just, I just kind of threw it in here for the time being, but I want more pastas and sauces. Um, again, some egg noodles. Um, those are some oatmeal. When I first came to Houston. My real estate agent who helped me get my home, she's part of a church, and um, I moved here um, the day before that the big snowstorm freeze happened. So we got in our home and basically everything was delayed. I couldn't get no food. It was like the beginning of the pandemic again out here. So my real estate agent, with, I didn't even ask her. She just brought over a bunch of stuff. And these are the beans and the oats are some of the things she brought over. Um, and some canned goods. And I'll show you that. So, um, that's why it's there. Um, and it actually adds to my stockpile because we eat, I eat a lot of oats. And I make homemade granola. So, that come into handy. And then beans is something that I don't make all the time but it is good to have in your um, stockpile backup prep pantry um, because beans are pretty full 
Philly and you can, you know, you can fill your family up with a little with some chili real fast. And again, I don't, we don't eat beans all the time, but I, that's why I don't have a lot of them. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, I just brought this. Um, bait lays. Um, that's just, that's not even part of the stockpile. I just put it in here so my kids won't eat it all in the other um, pantry. Um, waters. So, my goal was to get about six waters. So, I'm at six. And so, what I'll do is, as one go down, I'll just buy a new one and just rotate them out. Um, but my goal was to get six. And I'm at six. So, um, if y'all know, being a pandemic, um, water was scarce. So, and from what I hear, when hurricanes hit, it's the same way. <laughs> water is scarce. So, I wanted to have at least six. And I think I'm going to stock up on some jug water. So if we, if a hurricane happens, we lose water or anything like that, and we need to take a, you know, bath or anything, I want the big jugs of water, just so we can have that. Um, I got a thing of popcorn down there. My oldest son, middle, both of my kids actually love popcorn. So and so do I, but they love that kind of popcorn. So I brought a big thing from Sam's Club. And hopefully that will last us for a few months. So over here, I have the chip box over here. Again, um, I'm moving. I'm, I need a container to put these in to put into the main pantry. So I'll leave them in here. Um, but yeah, chips, <laughs> um, tortilla chips. I plan to have this whole thing filled with four more bags of protein chips because we we like nachos and I like eating salsa and chips that kind of stuff so yeah um I was going to buy a bunch of boxes of pancake mix and I thought why would I do that when I could just buy this big old mac daddy big mac daddy <laughs> thing of pancake mix and I'm just down. I filled up my pantry, my container, my pantry, and I'm just now needing to fill it up. And I filled that up when we first moved here back in February. So this may last. I may buy one more just to have. Um, but it's not really necessary. Um, flexi, not really. I guess it's a pantry item, but not really. I just put it here because I don't have nowhere to put it. Um, but I use flaxseed all the time. Cream of wheat, that's like one of my favorite breakfasts. Um, and I have one in my container in the pantry and one in here, so I may buy two more of those. Um, I definitely need to fill this up all the way to the end, so maybe two, four more, because we eat a lot of grits. <laughs> my boys love grits, um, so, and my boyfriend loves grits, so. I'm gonna fill, fill this up. Cornmeal as well. We love cornbread. Um, yeah, so I may fill that up the same. Ketchup. I have to find a different place to stock ketchup up because we use so much ketchup. Y'all, this little tube, sorry, these little tube is not gonna last. Like, this is probably gonna be, I have one in the refrigerator that we're finishing up. I say we go through at least one a month, right? So, and even probably more than that. Because my, my middle child eats, loves, I mean, he loves french fries and nuggets and all that, that stuff that you eat ketchup with every day. Every day. Down here, some vanilla wafer, hot sauce, um, some queso because we like nachos and that's the case so we like um i got some chicken broth back there but i'm not gonna stock up on chicken broth because i use better than bouillon and um granulated chicken um powder so i mean i rather use that versus that because to me the flavor is better 
I got some ranch, of course. That's it. My middle son likes to eat all the things that you dip. <laughs> a bunch of strawberry jelly, because that's our favorite, and that's just what my boys like. So I brought a bunch of those. I think I have maybe three. So my goal is to get to six. Um, and I got some peach preserves because I prefer peach, apple, peach and apple, um, like preserve. I'll eat strawberry, but that's like my favorite. But I'm not eating that right now, so that's why it's not in the refrigerator. Some blackberry, some blueberry syrup, um, just for special occasion. I haven't popped it open yet, but I will. <laughs> four things of syrup and three things of Capri Suns and one of these breakfast essentials. My son, my oldest son was on these like tough and then he got tired of them. So they have a good shelf life so they'll stay in here because if he may get back on them, he's like that. Now right here is like the drink heaven. Now, this is necessarily not really a stockpile because we're going to drink all this within the month. Um, I usually put one mini soda thing in the refrigerator a week. Kids are only allowed to have one a day. So that's one, two, three, four, um, five of them. So. One will kind of carry over into the next month. And then the Dr. Pepper is for my boyfriend. He prefers Dr. Pepper, so that's why it's only one. And he doesn't drink it that often. I have like three cases of sparkling water. That's my soda. <laughs> I don't really do soda. I do sparkling water. I already have one in the refrigerator. Again, one per week. Um, we already have some soda in the refrigerator too, so this may go into next month. Fingers crossed, it better because they can only have one per day unless they sneak in another one. And if that's the case, I won't buy no more sodas. <laughs> but um, that's my, this is like my main stock up pantry um, storage closet. Now this was supposed to be like a storage coat closet situation. I just turned it into a pantry. I got these from Lowe's. I don't remember the cost, but um, they're pretty inexpensive. And up here is just my candle collection, which I have. I want to move this, but I just don't know where to put it. <laughs> so it's sitting in here for right now until I'm able to figure out, you know, a better solution for that. Yeah. So let me show you my um where I keep my canned goods. Now under here is where I keep my canned goods. I got these organizers from Amazon. I need to get one more or two more. So I'll buy some more of those. These are coming out. They're actually they actually go into the boys um breakfast station. And uh, which I'm gonna take those out now. And this is my this is my DoorDash bag. <laughs> so that I can come out. So I can get one, two, probably three more of these in here. Now we don't eat a lot of canned goods, y'all. This is about what we do in cans. I may explain. <laughs> so evaporated milk is for my um um banana pudding. Um, cream of chicken. I make um, chicken and noodles, um, chicken and rice. So um, that's why I have cream of chicken, black beans, and you see, think of chili. This is like mostly it will be the wolf chili in here because my kids love chili dogs. So yeah, and then green beans. Um, I prefer green beans in a can sometimes because they're easy and quick and you rinse them off and they don't taste as like like canned goods do. I know. I don't know if that made sense, but y'all get my drift. Camp, green beans in the can is the only 
canned vegetable we really eat around here. Vegetable, I'm sorry, fruits. Fruit, a few canned fruits. Um, I normally don't gravitate to these. I only gravitate to these when there's absolutely no fruit. And we're at the end of the month and I don't have any fruit. And I like to get my fruit, my kids fruit at least once a day. So, um, yeah, but uh, these have been sitting here, so I'll, I'll have to get rid of them eventually. So, yeah, that's just back up. Some tuna. Um, again, oh, some of these cans are from my real estate agent. I mean, I told y'all earlier, uh, the box she brought me with food in it. This is um, some of the stuff, like the tuna. A lot of the fruit and some of the green beans um, but most of this stuff up here is from her so I got some sweet potatoes um, pumpkin and cranberry so this is stuff that again this is really emergency food um, the sweet potatoes and the um, like tuna we're going to use the cranberry sauce. I, I typically make my own cranberry sauce, but we'll use that up um, at some point. And the pumpkin, um, I'm not sure when this expires because I can make some pumpkin muffins or pumpkin bread. It expires. Oh, I have time. So this fall, I'll make some pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins with that. And... That is my food stock up. So I'm not completely done, you guys. Like I have my main pantry and that's not even, I'm not gonna show that to y'all, y'all, it's a hot mess. But that's where we keep our everyday food. Um, and then whenever we run out of that pantry, we come into our pantry and put um, stuff in there, certain stuff, a lot of stuff. Just kind of, um, I buy every grocery trip, but my goal is to bring my grocery budget down to about $200 a month and then save for prep, if that makes sense. So that I won't go, I'm not grocery shopping all the time. I want to get a, a freezer full of meat, um, and fill this up and fill my other pantry up of non-perishables and then that way all my foods that you know that are um, perishable I could just get that on a bi-weekly basis so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did hold on let me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and like comment and subscribe um, I will be doing more videos like this. I'm going to be doing a video of my, um, my stockpile of, you know, um, cleaning supplies, um, of, um, you know, toothpaste, a body wash, that kind of stuff. I'm still stocking up on it, but it's kind of last on my list. We have enough to kind of get us through the next few months. So, um, it's, is coming but I will be doing more videos like this just to kind of give you guys some ideas especially you know if you are single a single parent and you're trying to figure out how to save money and all that stuff I've been there I'm here to show you <laughs> um, but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one Bye. Pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you 